Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and today I am ranking my Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. If you guys know anything about must, you know Narciso is just like up there at the top of the food chain when it comes to must. And I have six fragrances. So it's been a minute since I've worn them. So we're going to sniff them out and I'm going to rank them from six to the top. So let's start off with Narciso Rodriguez. For her, this is the pink bottle in the black box. And it's really funny with two of these fragrances, how they do the color of the box and the color of the bottle. So this is the pink one. And it's just really pretty. Um, Narciso's fragrances are known for being really strong and long lasting as well. It's just a beautiful, soft, pretty musk. Not real loud and abrasive. So I want to give you guys the notes for this one. This is the, which one is this? This is the Eau de Parfum. I'm getting the notes off of fragrance.net. The fragrance notes are bergamot, musk, amber, vanilla, and vetiver. And it was introduced in 2003, so it's an oldie but a goodie. It's just a really soft, pretty, girly musk. I love this one so much. Next up, we have Narciso for her. Now, this is the Eau de Toilette. Now, this is the black one in the pink box. So, before we had the pink one in the black box, now we have the black one in the pink box. This one... I believe is stronger than the parfum, which is very strange, but I think this is the one that like lasts forever and a day. Yeah, it's stronger. It's still pretty. It's still feminine, but it is stronger. It gives you a little more kick than the one in the pink bottle. So, so pretty. I remember wearing this somewhere it was one of those days where I was going to be like out for the evening and um I went in to hug somebody and she was like oh my god you smell so good what is that and I had applied that fragrance like at noon and it was around 8 30 at night when she hugged me so the notes for this one are it says sensuous versatile and mysterious it is ruled by a whiff of musk at the heart introduced in 2003 um, let's see. It is a pink floral. Pink floral notes at the top are interlaced with the soft glow of amber for a spellbinding effect on the senses. Voluptuous woods at the base will remind you of a springtime walk through the woods. This one is a powerhouse and I love it. That is Narciso for her, the Eau de Toilette. The next one I have is Rouge. Now I have this in a travel spray and this is from fragrance.net. Um, I think at the time they were out of the bottles and the um, travel spray was the only one that I could pick up. So I just went ahead and got it. This one is a little bit different. This is musky, but there's something different about it. It's not quite that soft floral musk that you smell with the other two. So the notes for this one are, it says, the scent features top hints of Bulgarian rose and iris. The heart is passionate with notes of orange blossom, tuberose, and musk, while the base consists of notes from vanilla, white cedar extract, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So you've got a lot going on with this. And the cedar is one of the first things that comes out with rouge. This is a more full body, kind of grown and sexy fragrance than the other two. So once again, that is rouge. This next one I have on a travel spray as well, and it is from Royalty Scents, and this is Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. I mean, if we're going for musk, why not go for pure musk, right? 
So this is what it looks like. And this one, if I can remember correctly, was a really soft, pretty one too, almost like a nude scent. Yes. It's really soft, really pretty, really light. This one is described as a floral, woody, and musky fragrance. It was launched in 2019. And it says it features the very intense intense musk as its top notes. The mid is a bed of flowers that are radiant and aromatic and the composition then travels to the base for a dry down of cashmere and for a scent that is distinct. So your dry down almost goes into that beautiful skin scent where you kind of invite people in to smell you. This one is one of my favorites. It's just that it's almost like that I just stepped out of the shower and I smell great type of scent, but with a little hint of musk mixed in with that. This one is so pretty. It's one of my favorites and I did want to show you the bottle on this one. It's a clear bottle or well, a white bottle. And let me show you the rouge bottle for rouge. So that's the one we talked about before pure musk so once again this is pure musk mm, by narciso rodriguez next up we have narciso now these just started going into the first name only and the bottles change so these are the little short cute bottles so freaking cute and it just got to the point where people were just saying the white bottle, the pink bottle, the red bottle. Because, I mean, that's how you know it at the end of the day. So, I can't remember what this one smelled like. This has more of a sharpness to it. It's nice, but it's, it's not as smooth as the other ones. Okay, let me give you the notes for this one as well. So the notes for Narciso, it says, it's very intoxicating and sensual. This fragrance boasts of a universal charm of passion and allure. The top notes of this seductive perfume consist of gardenia and rose. At the center lies the sensuality of musk and the lingering trail of cedars and vetiver that cast their bold presence at the base. So you've got gardenia, rose, musk, cedars, and vetiver. So I'm guessing it's the cedars once again. It's making it this really kind of strong, sharp fragrance. Um, gardenia also is a note that some people like, some people don't. So if you don't like gardenia, you might not like this one. So once again, this is Narciso in the white bottle. Last but not least, we have Narciso Ombre. So this is the orange bottle. Let's open it up. And it's a cute little orange cube. So I don't remember what this one smells like either. It's been a minute. I need to start grabbing these more. I really do. Oh, this is pretty. Once again, we're, we're returning to that soft, beautiful kind of powdery musk. Really, really pretty, but there's a little hint of something extra <clears throat> in this one. So let me give you the notes. And we know just by the title of it, it's going to be amber. Uh, let's get to the notes. So we have <clears throat> frangipani, frangipani, langy lang, amber, musk, and cedar. So even though there's cedar in this, and sometimes cedar can come across really bold and loud, the frangipani, you know, it sweetens it up. You've got that elang lang so you've got the floor, beautiful floral musk. You've got the amber that's also kind of smoothing it out. And it's really, really pretty. This was launched in 2020. So once again, that is Narciso Ambre. So what's my ranking? I still have all my little sniffers, my little blotters next to each perfume. I would say my number six 
would be number six is this one and this is the narciso and the white bottle narciso that would be my number six um for me this one is just kind of eh, it's nice but it's just okay you know it's okay nice scent but okay so that would be my number six my number five would be the amber scent the narciso ambre um it's just okay i mean once again nice scent but it is what it is my number th number three number four it kind of looks like this might be going in the the way that i brought them to you <laughs> Hmm. Let me take another whiff again, guys. Sorry about that. Ooh, now that's on my finger. My number five, my number five, my number four. My number four is, this is the Narciso Rouge. That is my number four. So that would make my number three to be the scent by royalty scents, which is Narciso Pure Musk. That's my number three. Mm, so now let's get to one and two. Okay, so one and two are really close. They are just neck and neck. Um, my number three is pretty close to number one also, and that's the Pure Musk scent. But... I would have to say my number two has to be Narciso for her, the perfume, and which would make Narciso for her, the Eau de Toilette, number one. Now, the only reason I am doing this, I love them both. I pretty much love them both equally, but the toilet is actually stronger and more long lasting than the parfum and i know you've heard that before and that's because it is true these are both beautiful scents but if we're going for longevity it would have to be the eau de toilette hands down every day all day so that is my ranking you guys let me know what narciso fragrances you have do you have all of the ones that i have do you have more because there are more of them i just don't have them all in my collection yet comment below let me know what you have what your favorite narciso rodriguez fragrance is thanks so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlogmas